Hey everyone, Mr. Macintosh here, and I'm collaborating with my good friend the Apple Ninja on his channel to be able to bring you the macOS Big Sur 11.6.6 .6 update. I'm going to go over all the things that you're going to need to know before you install this on your Mac, including Open Core Legacy patcher news for your unsupported Mac. We got a lot to cover. Let's jump in and get started. Along with the 11.6.6 .6 update, Apple also released iOS 15.5 for iPad OS, TV OS, and Audio OS. Watch OS was updated to 8.6. On the Mac side, Monterey 12.4 was released. Catalina. 2022-004 security update and Xcode 13.4. The command line tools were also released as a separate update for the Apple Studio display. There was a new firmware update to 15.5. With the Big Sur 11.6.6 .6 update, the Apple Silicon M1 Macs had their firmware updated to 74.59.121.3. If you have a T2 Mac from 2018 to 2020 for Intel, your Bridge OS was updated to 19.16.15.071. Apple did release a full installer for Mac OS Big Sur. So there it is, the 11.6.6 .6 update is there. But if you have an Apple Silicon M1 Mac, Apple did stop creating IPSW Restore files at 11.6. So if you have to restore with Apple Configurator 2, you have to go all the way back to 11.6. When we go into system preferences to update macOS Big Sur with the latest security updates, Apple gets a little interesting here because they really are pushing you to macOS Monterey. For example, hey, you have an update here, install 12.4, upgrade now, simple as that, right? Well, and that's fine. If you're ready to make the move to Monterey, you can click here and it'll download and upgrade to your macOS Monterey. But if you wanna stay in macOS Big Sur, you actually have to click on this more info button to even see the next updates. After clicking there, you can see now the macOS Big Sur 11.6.6 update is 2.61 gigabytes and you'll also notice that there's a separate Safari update for 15.5. Keep in mind sometimes the Safari update lags a little bit behind so if you don't see that right off the bat that's okay it will come later and you can install it in software update becomes available. Now if you keep both of these check marked and hit install now the both download and will install in order. The macOS Big Sur 11.6.6 .6 update will prepare and get ready first and then Safari will install and then the system will restart to install the Big Sur update. How long did it take to install the 11.6.6 .6 update? I always keep track of the entire installation process. Once it's done downloading the update and software update, it'll begin to prepare the update. The preparation time only took seven minutes and then I was prompted to restart. After the restart, the actual installation time took only 17 minutes and then we were back to a usable desktop after 24 minutes. And that's exactly the same time as 11.6.5 update. The build version of 11.6.6 .6 update is 20G624. And I go over that because just in case you installed a beta release or a previous version and you wanted to make sure you are on the public version, that's a way to tell because the release candidate of the 11.6.6 .6 update was the same as the public release. And then you know you don't have to install an update after that. I took a quick screenshot of the system storage before we installed the 11.6.6 .6 update. And the system was showing as 15.32 gigabytes and that's Mac OS Big Sur. Now, after the update, I checked and it was displaying as the same 15.32 gigabytes. The size remained the same. Now let's talk about what's new in the 11.6.6 .6 .6 update. Now keep in mind, Apple considers macOS Big Sur and Catalina as N1 and N2 operating systems. What that means is, is that those two operating systems, they're focusing on keeping them secure. We're not gonna see any features or major changes to the operating system. So if you look here, you gotta just read about what they say. This update is recommended for all users and improves the security of macOS. So that tells us that this update is focused on security. But if we scroll down here, we can see that the 11.5.2 Apple says that they did some bug fixes to fix different things that might be wrong with the operating system. So if you see that and security, you can tell that they did both. But with this update, they are focused on security. And we're going to talk about that next. Now let's talk about the security content of the 11.6.6 .6 update. Apple fixed 39 separate security vulnerabilities in this update. And this is one of the largest security patch updates that I can remember in the last couple of months. And it's great to see a lot of the security researchers putting in their vulnerabilities and Apple fixing them. But you might remember when 12.3.1 hit, Apple did not release an associated security update for Big Sur and Catalina. And what you'll see here is Josh Long wrote a excellent article talking about security vulnerabilities that were in Big Sur that were patched in Monterey, but were not patched in macOS Big Sur. And if you go back to 
to the security update page and search for that CVE. You can see CVE 2022-22675 was fixed in this release, but look at the impact. An application may be able to execute arbitrary code with kernel privileges. Apple is aware of a report that this issue may have actively been exploited. And whenever you see that, that's cause for pause immediately because this issue could be now actively exploited on machines that do not have the 11.6.6 update installed on them. So those are the ones that you want to keep an eye on and those are really important to patch. The associated Safari 15.5 update also has security fixes in it for WebKit and there's three separate ones that are patched once you install the latest version of Safari 15.5. Now let's go over some benchmarks for the update. The score that was taken at the 11.6.5 update was 1739 and a 7696. And after installing the 11.6.6 update, it was a 1734 and a 7612. And that's exactly what we wanna see. We don't wanna see any wide ranging changes in the benchmarks that could detect problems with the update. Now let's talk about some open core legacy patcher news for your unsupported Mac running Big Sur. After my Monterey 12.4 video hit today, there was a new version of open core legacy patcher that was released 0.4.5 and I used that version to be able to update this early 2013 15 inch MacBook Pro to 11.6.6 and it installed great with no issues whatsoever. Now keep in mind you don't have to jump to 0.4.5 but you can and it's always recommended to use the latest version of Open Core Legacy Patcher before you update your system. Now keep in mind remember the 0.4.4 update gave you automatic root patching so to get that going before the update run this here and to see if you need any patches if you don't don't worry about it you don't even need them like in this system but if you do click start root patching it'll install the automatic patching system and after you install the software update in software update preferences software update it'll say hey we noticed that you need the root patches to be able to give you graphic acceleration for example click ok to install them and it's all automatic and you won't be after the update installed running slow and wondering what's wrong with your system that's a really great open core legacy patcher feature that is is now on 0.4.4 and newer. Do I recommend you installing the 11.6.6 update? And for this particular update, especially with the 39 separate security vulnerabilities, I definitely recommend you installing this. But before you do, make sure you back up your Mac just in case there's a small chance of a something that goes wrong, all your files are safe. But at least after you install the update, you are now secure with all the latest vulnerabilities that are fixed. I wanted to give a special thanks to the Apple Ninja. If it wasn't for you, I never would have started my channel. You kept after me, start a channel, you can do it. And you showed me with your channel that it was possible to have success on YouTube and show others how to do different things on your Mac. And again, I didn't think I was gonna be able to do it. Who would watch my videos? Who would wanna listen to me? You pushed me to be able to do it and I am forever grateful of you being able to get me to be able to create these videos and have a great channel where I'm at today and I would not have been able to be there without you. Please give a subscribe to the Apple Ninja. He deserves it and he has a wonderful channel. Thank you so much.